Adobe just released two of my ideas into Photoshop. Here's the story. Recently, I had a video call with Amy Derusher, a principal Photoshop product manager at Adobe about an idea for the new hue and saturation adjustment layer. The updated panel made it easy to target specific colors using the new prominent colors feature, but there wasn't a simple way to invert the targeted colors. This is something I've needed countless of times in my professional projects, most recently while working on the season eight poster for the neighborhood on Paramount Plus where I needed to make targeted adjustments, excluding skin tone and other colors in the image. I've always had to make targeted adjustments like this manually by dragging the triangular sliders to position them between the colors I want to omit. I've shown you this method in previous tutorials, but it's tedious and time consuming. And if we can select the range of values to adjust manually on the color wheel, we can definitely have a button that does it for us. When you select the color swatch from the prominent colors, all you're doing is selecting a range of values. And by inverting these values, you can instantly target the opposite range. Amy loved the concept and said she'd have her team work on it. A few months later, she emailed to say it had been officially added to the Photoshop beta and it worked exactly as I imagined. Let me show you how it works. All you need to do is create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and target any color, like the green in this image. Then I'll desaturate it so you can see we're only targeting green. In the properties panel, you can click on this new icon, the invert hue range markers. Now, before I actually click on this icon, I want you to notice the values 80, 109 and 174, 217. When I click on it, the numbers invert, which means we're now targeting the opposite colors we were before. Now all colors but green are selected. So the desaturation effect is applied to everything but green. And of course, you can continue adjusting the selected colors by dragging in the hue range marker sliders. Just remember, everything in between the triangular sliders will not be affected. The gradient on top shows you the original colors. And the edited colors after applying your adjustment are shown in the gradient below. Notice the desaturated colors here. And the colors between the triangle sliders is green, which are the colors not affected by the desaturation effect. Let me know what you think. And that wasn't the only thing that came from my discussions with Amy. The updated tooltips in the selective color adjustment layer were very similar to what I suggested. Most people struggle to understand the difference between relative and absolute modes, and these new tooltips explain it much more clearly. Now, I suggested bigger improvements, but in these conversations, Amy and I focus on low hanging fruit, small high impact ideas that could be implemented quickly without spending too much time or resources. The flip button was an easy win that could make a big difference in everyday workflows. But if you have any other low hanging fruit ideas for improving Photoshop, drop them below in the comments because Adobe is listening. And if you want to master selections, check out my course selections in masking mastery. The link is below in the description. I'm Jesus Ramirez. Thank you for watching.